Hello mon amis, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited to sit back down, test out some makeup, talk to you guys. Like the good old days, like I really, really miss and it feels almost alien to me to sit here and yeah, film. Now we've got all of that out of the way, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mona Lisa and I'm a London based beauty, fashion and lifestyle blogger, vlogger. And if you're returning, welcome, it's so nice to have you. So let's get straight into the video. What am I doing today? Today I'm testing some new Charlotte Tilbury products that have been around for a little bit, but it's new to me and I'm super excited. So I have two products here. <laughs> So I've got the quick and easy makeup travel set that comes in this beautiful packaging and then I've got like the TikTok sensation bronzer here. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer and I've got this in the shade medium and this is their cream bronzer for their face and body. <gasps> like you know how I just... I almost don't want to ruin it, it just looks so good. And then obviously I've got my previous Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, which you guys love that video, that tutorial. This is the matte one and I'm almost hitting pan. So yeah, so the difference between these two is that this is a matte powder and then this is a matte cream. So we're gonna test this one out. If you wanna see what this one's all about, then check out that video. I will have it kind of in the tabs. And I'm not sure if this is refillable like the other one. So this one's refillable. It has a little pin, um, like a hole there. You stick a pin in, you can get a new one of these. I'm not sure about this one. And then we have this bad boy right here, which costs £55. Now I'm not sure if that is worth it, but first of all, the packaging is gorgeous. It has a really great mirror. Um, you get three products in here, and this is all kind of like catered for on the go, traveling, maybe for a mum and you do the school runs and you do your makeup in your car. If you travel a lot um if you you know work out and about then this is kind of like for you and if you like your cream based products because all of these products here are cream based so if you're somebody who tends to lean towards the powder then this potentially might not be for you but we will test it out and i have the shade golden glow and i have quite an olive complexion as you guys can see okay so let's go in with the bronzer i've got the information here that this is actually 42 pounds this was kindly gifted to me and i can kind of see a little bit why it costs this much so it says here that it is for healthy looking skin it has a pro vitamin d3 in here it says that this lasts up to 16 hours skin is two times more hydrated skin looks smoother by 42 percent there's like a lot of science into this it is huge humidity proof which in the UK we are currently going through our second heat wave so this is a product which hopefully will stand the test of the day um, so for this I'm actually going to use a brush and then see if it needs to be blended out with a beauty sponge but let's see so I've just got this flat brush here it does come with a brush but I don't have that so I'm just using my own and oh my god okay so this is very pigmented very very pigmented let's see if i can use it on my forehead it does blend out really really nicely oh gosh look at that contoured i'm just going to use whatever's left on my brush on my jawline now i'm not usually that wowed by cream bronzing products and to be honest i've always kind of been a little bit frightened of them because i'm all about like i don't know if it's gonna last i've got quite oily skin i've you know i love powders because i want my makeup to stay all day this has the ingredients that will give you that 16 hour wear i will put this to the test and come back to you later in the day to let you guys know but how, look how just how much more golden i look now i know that this might seem a lot like 42 pounds for a cream bronzer but i would love to actually see if i could do a comparison with this with the chanel one which has always been on my wish list but again it's just super expensive it's like can i really justify it i do i, do, I really don't know but uh wow 
look at what that has done i'm also going to try this contouring my nose a little bit and i'm just going to use this brush here i'm going to just take the most tiniest amount you can also see the swirls in this like it looks delicious and also this big mirror i mean i love a compact with a big mirror that's one of the things that puts me off the chanel bronzer that people are obsessed with it's you know it's in a tub you have to twist lids it's not a great easy on the go product there's no mirror it's just yeah it's not the most easiest now i'm just going to blend that up into my eyes and bring that down i'm also going to take a little bit even though we do have an eye product in this set i'm just going to use this for the crease here and just see what that is like blends in so well and this is usually what i do if i'm in a rush and i can only take a few products with me if i'm traveling and i can only take a few products with me my bronzer doubles up as my eyeshadow and then that's it that's all i use looking good so far really loving that but like i said let's see if it holds out throughout the day okay next on to this bad boy which again i'm really not sure if it's worth the money but i have kind of worked it out a little bit in my head these products versus some eyeshadow sticks from other brands and it is kind of like for like um i do believe you can buy this case separately but i think it's like 20 pounds which isn't worth it like you might as well get the whole thing so let's go on to this eye product here um like i said i've got the shade golden glow in all of this so you get a eye product a lip and cheek and then a highlighter glow product i have to say like it is really hard getting products out of here like when i first got this i wanted to like test a product and it's really really difficult okay here we go got it out and none of these products have lids and that is another negative i kind of have for this um yeah so when you put it back in it's just things can get slightly messy and it just doesn't look so good let's swatch it that's what it looks like let's see and that's it blended I looked on the website and what you are actually meant to do is just literally like a scribble on your eye. The colour is beautiful, I'm not going to lie. It is really, really lovely. And then you just blend it out with your fingers. I literally thought I was going to have to grab a brush, but I mean, Charlotte Tilbury's thought of everything. Like literally that has blended out so beautifully. Now let's try this on the under eye. And again, I saw this on the website that they recommended that you should do. And I do always like to put a little bit of eyeshadow under my eye because it just makes my eyes look bigger. And I'm just gonna lightly blend that, but I kind of like the way it looks already, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna see if I can intensify that color. It's like a nice light golden copper but not too orange this shade it looks really really lovely I'm just gonna do the other eye okay eyes are done okay next product in here is the lip and cheek gorgeous gorgeous color swatch it oh it's got very like a peachy corally but very muted undertone to it um I guess you just draw it on let's see I'm just gonna do it a bit higher so it lifts my face and then blend it with my fingers now this is what I'm always really scared of is like is it gonna move my makeup am I is it gonna look patchy let's see and then a little bit on the balls of my cheek there not bad just gonna intensify so from this angle i can kind of see like a line so i'm just going to take a beauty sponge and diffuse that line a little bit there we go can you see how that's blended everything just looks so seamless also just going to use this on the lips see what that looks like 
and just pat that in as well just because i feel like it looks more lived in when you pat it in and whatever's left over i'm just gonna pop back on my cheek that is a really lovely color it's not a color i would initially go towards and say that's what i'm gonna pick but now that I've worn it and tried it on, it actually looks really nice. If I had a lip liner, I think that would really, really look more intensified. But really, really like it. Okay, last product is the highlighter. And obviously, it is a golden highlighter there. I do love all the rose gold packaging in this though. Like it is really pretty. And it just looks very premium. It doesn't look like a travel size product, which I like. And the big mirror in here does really help. God, up close, my skin is looking very dewy. I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna put some highlighter there. Uh, here, down my nose, just put some there. I also like putting some just above the brow. That is like melted onto my skin. It works really well with the blush. Just tap that in. That above the forehead is tapped in seamlessly. Even when I um, applied the highlighter, oh, it almost melted onto my skin. It almost turned into an oil. And that's how I knew I wasn't gonna have any issues blending this all out. And then I always, after highlighter, I kind of like to go back in with blush because I feel like it sometimes gets lost with the highlighter. So I always like to go back and apply. And the beauty with the blush, well, the downside and also the beauty is that you can always apply more blush. More is better because it kind of fades throughout the day. So I kind of go into town with it a little bit more than normal because I know it will just kind of gently fade. I don't know why that is with blushes, but it's like my skin just eats up the pigment. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this look off with, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I have a whole video dedicated to this, so if you wanna check that out, then I'll leave that linked as well. I'm gonna apply that and I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, so that is mascara done, and this is the finished look. Looks very natural, glowy. Colours suit me perfectly. So if you are my complexion and interested in these products, definitely try out the Golden Glow. Although I have seen that there is a new shade out. So as I was applying my mascara, I did notice that the eyeshadow had almost dried down. Likewise with the like all the other products, it's like they've almost set, which is where I guess you get the long wearing formula. So I have every confidence that this should hopefully last um, as long as I do throughout the day. So I've got some errands to run, I've got some videos to create. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. I'm back. Now, this is the makeup still. I just put a tiny bit of powder on my T-zone because I was looking a little bit shiny, but that doesn't take away from the rest of the products. My lips have faded a little bit, but that is to be expected like I've been shooting and filming. It looks really, really good. So in terms of do I think that this is worth it? Um, I think if you're a Charlotte Tilbury lover and you love collecting Charlotte Tilbury products, 55 pounds is actually, it's okay. Like it's not that bad. And I would say to give to someone, to give to yourself as a little treat, if you're not a fan of cream products, then maybe give it a miss. But I love Charlotte Tilbury products. I think so many of us women do. Like, she's got it so spot on. And I do have a Charlotte Tilbury collection. So, yeah. I think it's worth it. And then this bronzer here, I feel like for the amount that you get, which is 0.74 ounces. And the fact that a little bit goes a long way. I mean, you can see I have barely touched it for 42 pounds and it comes in this lovely packaging again i think if you are a collector of charlotte tilbury get it it looks so lovely and i've seen it all over tiktok and it looks good on every skin tone i am kind of swerving more onto the cream based products i don't know why i used to, like i said i used to be really afraid of them but now that these brands are bringing out long wearing cream based products 
it's like game changing so yeah i think i'm liking this versus over the powder this it's just giving me glow it's giving me a contour it's giving me sculpt it's giving me bronzy glowy goodness it's giving me everything that's it for my video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what other charlotte tilbury products you want me to review i really want to do a charlotte tilbury dedicated makeup look and show you some of my favorites but there are just a few that i don't have like i don't have any charlotte tilbury foundations and I think that's because of my kind of acne history. So I always needed a long wearing foundation. But let me know what you guys think. Um, are they worth it? Are they worth the hype? Maybe I should just bite the bullet and buy it and be done um, and test it out for you guys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's been so nerve wracking sitting down doing a makeup video. Um, I feel so rusty, but that rust is slowly disappearing and I'm on a roll so yeah thank you for sticking to the end if you want to see more of me come over to my Instagram or my TikTok which is at Mona's Eyes Beauty but for now guys I think yeah I'm gonna end it here and I'll see you guys in my next video